while we are here for the opening vlog of uh, uh, Monday, December 14th, 2020, it is uh, currently uh, 14 hours and 46 minutes into the day already. Uh, that's because we had a finishing time uh, just around 5 o'clock in the morning. So, it is five hours of the day, that's, that's when we finish, when we finish, we're back here again, uh, and we're opening with a package opening. We have two, pa uh, actually we have three packages open. So let's get to it. Here's the first package. I don't, uh, I use these online shopping malls, and a lot of people will tell you the mall they went to, but I don't tell people the mall that I go to, uh, other than Amazon. Because what ends up happening is that once, when, when something becomes popular, very popular, it changes. It becomes, it gets worse. And the deals you once had start disappearing. <laughs> because, you know, well, here's what happens. If something is good and is competing with major corporations, major companies who want to make their extra bucks, uh, then what ends up happening is they w end up trying to work out a way to destroy it because they don't want that competition. You know, YouTube does, uh, YouTube does very well. Uh, it pulls viewers away from, let's say, Disney or from, from Nickelodeon or any of the, the major, uh, uh, you know, the streaming corporation, the media corporations. Well, well they're going to fight to bring the control back. And so here's our package. It's another one of the boards. This is what I wanted. This one here is the, the D8 Super. Or should, should should be the Super. There you go. And let's open it up to sort of see, make sure it's got what it should have on it. Opening. Try to figure out where it op opens. Sometimes the opening is not actually uh, observable. So. Uh, so let's see here. It looks the same. It's got the on off. Not opening up for some reason. The uh, cover's not opening. Let's see here. I keep tiny screwdrivers around the jewelry screwdrivers just in case something doesn't work or needs an extra bit of finesse to get it open. Okay, it's got everything. It's got everything it has, has to have in there. This is this backing here, like this. That's the lithium-ion battery. And what I have to check out and make sure is make sure that it's Bluetooth. So. I'll do that later on tonight to make sure that it's Bluetooth. It's going to replace one of the ones I have in back. I got one, but it wasn't Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth. So uh, I wanted for my Android boxes, I wanted a Bluetooth keyboard uh, rather than simply a wireless one, and that's what that should be. Um, so let's open the second one here and see. It should be the same thing. Let's get this package open. Uh, this uh, packaging seems to be a little tough. Here we go. 
If you can't get the things in right, sometimes there's a, a little leverage is what's needed. And uh, you, that way you can get the package open easier. And there is the second one. And I just edit, I just edited the video. The video that just went up now is the one where this section of the uh, this uh, the music room is now created. Well, is the partition here, the bookcase, which I, the the, uh, the 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 what's it called the uh, the shelving unit that. Uh, uh, but here acts as a partition, so it creates like a room. So here's our here's our next package from Amazon, and it's for the scooting. Uh, and so it creates almost like a room effect. So we've got now a nice little studio for a uh, music room. garbage cans over there and these are suspenders when you're the the pants I have which they go over the other pants they need to be a little loose but some of the jackets I have which are which are wasted jackets they're only go down up to the weight go down to the waist they end up pushing the pants down so I need something to hold the pants up <laughs> to keep things steady while I'm riding so uh, that's what this does. And this is what they look like on the inside. Nothing particularly special. But then again, we're not looking for anything special. We're looking for we're looking for more functionality than anything else. So this is it here from top to bottom. These are the suspenders. So uh, I'm assuming these are the front, and this is the back, and they should stretch to sort of fit everything you need. <sighs> Let's put this over here, and this kind of it for now um, in terms of the election election season because this election is still going on uh, some of the pundits a lot of the pundits even on the, on the Republican side say well once Biden elected is elected all these things are gonna go away you know no more no more uh, chronic gas and yay for that but uh, never occurred uh, Canada's now into our next, we're into our next lockdown. Uh, no more Christmas. Uh, they're, they're allowing zero guests at your house for Christmas, so forget about having any family over for Christmas because it's not happening. So let's get into here. I have a quick way of testing whether, whether, whether or not this is Bluetooth. And that's what I'm doing now. Connect the devices, Bluetooth, here we go. on and we'll turn on there we go the device is now on Uh, 
prepare a new device. And it appears these devices aren't Bluetooth. They should be so showing up, but they're not showing up. My 8 Pro is showing up, but not uh, not this thing. Well, anyways, I've got to sort of figure out what's going on and see why these things aren't working and uh, go from there. All right. We'll see you in a bit, for, uh, actually in a couple of hours for uh, the uh, next segment of the vlog. There's the bus. Well, it is just... About uh, 8.07 in the morning. Yeah. It is 8 hours and 7 minutes into the uh, 15th day of December. A bizarre kind of not necessarily in. I'm going to be ending in about an hour and a half. I've got some meditation and some gaming to do left. But this is a... a, a Part of our, our our continuing discussion, our conversation, and it has to do with the word called gnosis. Gnosis is the Greek word, for, and it's spelled with G N O S I S. Oh. Thoughts at this hour. And after doing a lot of studying, uh Becomes very difficult. It becomes uh, not so easily. But anyways, this the Greek word is pronounced gnosis. The G is silent, just like the way knowledge is. The K is silent, knowledge. And actually, it's the Greek word for knowledge. Most people assume knowledge is, and this is what the Democrats do. The Democrats. Uh, have two different classes of people, the educated and the uneducated. But the problem, the educated under the Democrat understanding is a lot like Lionel LeBron. He, these are the intellectuals. These are the academics. And in an understanding of Gnosis, if you've actually done Gnosis and sort of walked along the path, one begins to realize that there are various different spheres of knowledge and that and actually knowledge itself Gnosis is uh, pretty much undefined because there is no definition for Gnosis. There is, there is no end point to it, towards it. It's infinite. It, it, and this is, uh, could be understood if you looked at the history and the evolution of calculus. You begin to understand that knowledge from its beginning, even back at the time of Newton and Leibniz, uh, was infinite in nature. And this is why calculus was, was created. Calculus was created as the mathematics of approximation. And it actually proves nothing. You can't prove anything with calculus because calculus is founded on, on the very limit of knowledge as it approaches the infinite point. And because it only approaches the infinite point, never reaches it, that the point itself is asymptotic you never actually reach it. You only, always, no matter how close you think you get, are still infinitely far away, and therefore you're always dealing with an approximate. You never have a full and total proof. And as you begin to un understand this, you begin to understand that there's a lot more out there. This is where you use the, the different paths and the tools along the path, including meditations. And there's a lot of different types of meditations to open your mind to... to to deal with your own sense of self in the manner where you 
in, in order to see beyond your own perspective, you have to deny the self. This is elemental to understanding the knowledge of beyond, going beyond what we call standard knowledge. And once you see this, you begin to understand how the intellectual, the academic, is on the lowest level of knowledge that there is. They're just at the entry point. But they take the assumption because of their own sense of self, their own sense of who they are, their own sense of status, that they, they are at the end point of knowledge, even though they have barely entered into the spheres of knowledge itself. And of course, because the knowledge of sphere, the, the sphere of knowledge itself is infinite, that sphere is infinitely large, infinitely encompassed. And as you walk along these paths, as you begin to understand that there's more and more out there, one begins to understand how things, even like politics, and the behavior within politics becomes intertwined and interconnected with with the knowledge of the world itself, how things seemingly, that are seemingly disconnected have strings and things that are attached to other things and manners that we don't necessarily expect. And this is the whole purpose of, 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 of walking the path of knowledge and pushing these boundaries into the so-called beyond knowledge, that we call the meta-knowledge, uh, meta means beyond, uh, that you're going beyond the standard knowledge, you're going beyond the academic, you're going beyond the intellectual, and you're going further out than what they, 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 they typically believe to be true. And the knowledge itself doesn't necessarily have to be packaged in a particular book. There are a number of ways to achieve knowledge, even through sense of meditation, because there are a number of techniques within meditation. But also thought doesn't necessarily stop within, within meditation. It depends on where you go in terms of meditation, in terms of your, your path of gnosis, your path of enlightenment. It really depends on where you're going. And there are a number of, of instructors out there who will say, oh, I'll tell you how to go. I'll tell you how to go. This is what you have to do here. This is what you have to do there. And they're only presenting a perspective. Each individual has a perspective. Each individual shares only from their point and necessary from their point of view. In order to see the other point of view, you have to step out and walk the path. Without walking the path of Gnosis, without understanding that there is a large variety of paths within Gnosis, and only very few will actually lead you to the, the, the proper endpoint. My endpoint is, is immortality. And that's where I'm going. But there's a lot of stuff that doesn't matter. But the things you do have to go through some of these experiences to make your decisions, to understand the path that you're on and where eventually you're going to. And this is something that needs to be asked. Something that needs to be understood. Is that... that the things that are intertwined, the behaviors within politics, whether it's Trump or Biden or whatever, that there's a lot more beyond us. That, that, that in terms of history, things repeat themselves over and over again because human beings have these particular patterns of behavior that are, that are repeatable. So as much as we think that we're doing something brand new, we're doing something that's never been done before, we are in many ways repeating the things of the past. We're repeating the, 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 the cycles of behavior in the past. And that's what I'm saying now is that we are in one of the most dangerous periods of, of the past with, with the Great Reset because we're at the point of time where people are trying to engineer human beings. And this is the point where you go into history, you understand the history of knowledge and the history of Gnosis. You begin to see that this is not something new. This is something old. They're simply retrying it again. This is something. This is a new iteration of something that was done in the past, 
And every time they've done this in the past, a lot of people got hurt, a lot of people died, because they think they know how to dull, how to solve these particular problems, that they have the solution. And, and that they're going to set up a ministry of truth to tell you what's true, what's not true, and who to listen to and who not to listen to. But the thing is, you have to think for yourself. You have to sit down and learn what needs to be done. And, and, and there's no way to sort of to alter the amount of work that you need to get done. And you'll never get a full or complete answer. You'll only have a partial answer. And this is where a lot of patience comes in. And this is where Lionel LeBron lacks in this patient. There's actually a lot more there, there to, the, to the election than we necessarily understand. And understanding the behaviors within the election is key to understanding how to change the behavior of society by working with smaller groups. And eventually as you change their understanding, you change in time, you change the understanding of the larger audience, of the larger people. But if unless you sit out there and start working at this, uh, you're not going to do much of anything.